Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you some useful vocabulary for apartment hunting in French. So, um, some of it are just direct translations that might be useful, but some of them are more terms that um, you might not be familiar with when you're looking through um, apartment listings and things like that. So, first of all, I wanted to talk about the term T1, T2, T3, etc. Um, it can be confusing, but basically what the T1 means is... Um, for example, it, it's how many rooms are in the apartment. So you have a T1, that's basically a studio apartment, it's just um, one room. So um, it's going to be like a living room, dining room, kitchen area. If you have a T2, it's going to be uh, that living room area with the kitchen, whatever, plus one bedroom. So each time you add a number, you add a bedroom. So T1 is the basic, just the living room area. T2 is with one bedroom. T3 is two bedrooms. T4 would be three bedrooms, etc. So that's really helpful when you're looking for an apartment because it's describing how big the apartment is. Um, second, a studio is the same thing as an English studio. It's just a single room where you have everything in one room. Um, and you have the words pièce and chambre. And they both mean room, but in a different sense. Chambre is like bedroom, and pièce is how many rooms are in the apartment. So uh, just any type of room in general, including kitchen, um, living room, etc. Uh, the utilities in French, to say utilities in French, in French, you can say service. So if you want to know if the util utilities are included, you can ask, uh, est-ce que les services sont compris? And uh, that's really useful because it's really important if you know whether your utilities are included or not. Um, if you want to ask if there's all the appliances in the kitchen, uh, it, you can say cuisine équipée. It means the kitchen has the stove and all that stuff. Because I mentioned in another video, sometimes people actually take stove and refrigerator and those type of things when they move out of the apartments um, in France. So sometimes you might end up with an apartment that doesn't have any of that, and that is not good if you're only living here for eight or nine months. Um, as far as the floors go in the building when you're looking in listings, uh, it's a little different than in the U.S. For us, the first floor is usually like the ground floor. It's the same thing, in, at least in America, that's how I feel like. Um, but in France, the first floor is called Rue du Chaussée. Uh, or RDC, if you see the abbreviation RDC in listings, it means rez de which means the ground level floor. And then premier étage is the what we would call in, in America the second floor. So you climb a set of stairs, the first set of stairs, and you're on the premier étage. And it continues like that. So um, third floor would technically be fourth floor for Americans, maybe. Um, when you're searching for an apartment for tapif, it's also going to be handy to know if it's furnished or not. So, meublé means furnished, and non meublé means it's not furnished, unfurnished. You'll also see energy ratings when you're looking at apartment listings, and these list how efficient the apartment is as far as electricity, gas, water, those type of thing, how much energy it uses. So, they are letters A through E, I think. And the lower it is, the worse it is. Um, so you want to keep this in mind if you have to pay the utilities. And it has a really low energy rating that can get expensive. Um, for elevator, the word is ascenseur. If you want, are looking at an apartment that's like on the fifth floor and you want to know if there's an elevator. Um, a lot of apartment buildings in France will not have an elevator. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, for contract stuff... Uh, le loyer is the rent, the amount of money that you're paying every month, and le bail means the lease, so you can know those words. Uh, one word that is a false cognate is location. It does not mean location. It means renting. So if someone asks you, like, your living situation, and you say, I live on location, it means you rent somewhere. Uh, if you want to say the location, you can say... Um, L'appartement se situe or se trouve um, au centre-ville or wherever it is. So um, you can't use location, location as location. Also, colocation, it means um, renting with roommates. So if you say, uh, je suis en colocation, it means I live with roommates. You can also use the term colocataire, which means roommate, or you can shorten it to coloc. It's easier, it's more 
trendy, whatever, hip um, proprietaire is your landlord or landlady, and locataire is the renter, so you if you're renting somewhere. Another word that I've seen a lot in apartment listings is lumineuse, which means well lit. So if an apartment is listed as lumineuse, it means you have a lot of natural sunlight, which is important for a lot of people in Europe because the utilities are so expensive. Um, here, I don't turn my lights on during the day because I have a pretty well lit apartment. Um, so that's really nice to know. Placard means uh, any type of closet or cupboard. And uh, quartier is the neighborhood that you're living in. So if you want to know what neighborhood it is, you can ask. Or if it says on there and you don't know what that is, uh, that's what it means. The last term I wanted to talk about is uh, caution. And it can mean just a security deposit, but it also can mean a financial guarantee. So I mentioned in my other video that a lot of places will require you to have a um, guarantee by an EU member that you're going to pay it to sign a guarantee. And a lot of times if you see that they want a caution, that's what that is. You can also get a caution bancaire, which is a bank guarantee where your bank will vouch for you. Um, so that's what that is. It can be difficult to acquire as a foreigner. Uh, it can also just mean a deposit. Another word for deposit is depot. but uh, Caution can also mean just the deposit, so that term can be a bit confusing. You might have to ask for clarification on that. If you have any other questions about stuff you've seen in apartment listings or anything, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll try and answer if I know. And if you have any questions about housing in general, I'll put a link to my other video about housing in the description box down there so you guys can check that out. And if I don't answer your questions there, you can go ahead and always leave them in the comment. Um, this is just some terms that I found to be useful in my experience apartment hunting in France. And I'm going to put some links to my two favorite apartment hunting sites for France in the description box for Le Bon Coin and Apartage. So you guys can check those out. I talked about them in another video, but Le Bon Coin is basically like Craigslist. And you can find any kind of apartment, housing in a house, uh, if you want to rent a room, uh, different types of stuff. And Apartage is if you're looking more to sublease or to live with roommates, you can look there. Um, they're both pretty easy to use sites, I think. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.